Federal authorities say they've arrested a murder suspect for the killing of a woman on the night Memphis went into full lockdown. WRG Stacy Jacobson explains. Back in September, homes and businesses across the Mid-South went into full lockdown the night police say Ezekiel Kelly went on a rampage, indiscriminately shooting at people from South Haven to North Memphis. <laughs> The same night, 17-year-old Corteria McKinney was shot in her car at this Southwest Memphis convenience store and later died at the hospital. Police originally thought Kelly was responsible. She unfortunately just crossed his path. But then they released this video from a surveillance camera outside the convenience store where the shooting happened and updated their information, saying Kelly was not involved. At the time, McKinney's father released a statement to WREG saying she was so full of joy and had plans for her future. Using her nickname, Cortarian Wright said, Bay Bay always had a huge smile on her face, saying she is now gone for no reason. Instead, seven months later, police now say this man, Diego Glay, is responsible. Just this week, a joint task force including MPD, Shelby County Sheriff's deputies, and the U.S. Marshals says he was captured hiding in the upstairs of a Cordova apartment. He does not appear to have a criminal history in Shelby County. On social media, relatives of McKinney say they're grateful someone's in custody from a night that left so many in fear. Stacy Jacobson, WREG News Channel 3. Now we did reach out to McKinney's family today, but have not yet heard back. We also contacted Glaze attorney, but haven't heard back from them either.